They light up, they inflate, they expand. These are the latest fashion designs that show math and science is not just for boys. And now that I've seen how you can make science into fashion, and I'm such into fashion a lot, it's inspired me a lot. Many young girls are more interested in fashion than science class. One study shows women only received the fifth of all bachelor's degrees in engineering in 2006. But designer Diana Ng showed a group of 6th and 7th graders that fashion and science don't have to be mutually exclusive. So I thought it was really unfortunate that um, girls aren't attracted to science and technology. I think that they think science is something different. So girls who like to play with makeup a lot don't know that if they became chemists, they could play with makeup for a living and design, kind of be like makeup designers. At the Fairy Tale Fashion Show, Ang showed off nine technology-inspired designs. The lights on this dress even respond to how fast the model moves. The students are from Urban Academy of Math and Science an all-girls public school, and they couldn't wait to watch the fashion design. The inflatables that were on the internet, I'm looking forward to seeing that a lot, to see how it works. Ink's mission is to inspire girls in hopes of closing the gender gap. Several studies report that social dynamics of boys gradually make math and science less appealing for girls. It's a trend Urban Academy hopes to reverse. They are not necessarily math and science happy, so we kind of have to find the inspiration to make that happen. These 6th and 7th graders were excited at coming to a fashion show for the first time, but their teacher, she was thrilled that they might be getting involved in math and science. But I just had the greatest moment because two of them were just talking to a neuroscientist, and I was just like, I can't believe this. Ng hopes to bring her mix of fashion and technology directly into the classroom and help close the gender gap with a little bit of style. Thomas Chen, New York City News Service.